guess what day it is. It is October 1st. I'm Cinnamon Cooney, your Art Sherpa. On the mic today is my husband, John. Hey, guys. He is going to be reading your comments and following around my erratic and unpredictable movements with one of our four cameras so you can see what the heck I'm doing so you can paint this at home, too. And that's what we do here is we show you how to paint stuff at home. Today's a very special day, though. It is Jack Loves Sally. Um, let's just say October 1st is just Tim Burton Day, just in general. Yeah. And we're all celebrating it. I know many of you have asked for this. You've been saying, oh, can you please do Jack and Sally? And please do a Jack and Sally. I love this movie. I love this artist. I think he's just one of my favorite creative beings on planet Earth. So it took me a little minute to find my way into this, but I'm really happy with what we're doing today. John is pretty fond of the painting. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to show you how to do it. If you've never been here before, if you somehow saw some promo or video share or something, you're like, what's going on? This is me. I'm going to show you how to paint a painting. I'm going to show you every step, but some important stuff you might need to know. We've had a lot of new subscribers, a lot of new people come in. In the description below, I like to hide the materials list, mm -hmm. but I also hide some important links. I hide a link to Pinterest where Traceable lives that you can print out because I don't think drawing and art are necessarily connected completely. I think drawing is just a skill of art, and if you're not really a skilled drawer yet, <laughs> it's totally okay to trace on the image because the important thing is that you have fun in your creativity on your Saturday and that's what we're going to do today is have some fun in our creativity on our Saturday. I'm going to keep looking over okay, I'm at my co-captain. so many buttons over pushing. There. So, so many, many buttons. buttons. I'm so happy to. Oh, oh I, have I, got, to, I have to say something as okay. I get started. Go ahead. I've got my buttons ready. I have to say okay. something as I get started. All right. I am kind of blown away that we had like 50 likes before we started. There are some of you who are very confident you're going to be okay with this project. I really want to thank you for coming. Right at the beginning. So thank you for the likes. And those of you who got out and shared and shared and shared and shared and shared, thank you for that. That helps us so much. Yeah, I'm so I'm going to show you guys it. how to draw this in. Mm -hmm. Now, normally I put in wishes first before I draw it in. We like to put wishes on our canvas here. But today... Because I'm using this black 16 by 20 canvas, I'm going to want to draw in Jack and Sally first and then write my wishes inside them so the paint can go over it and send that out into the universe. Yeah, actually, that is a thing I think. Now, oh, oh, while you're doing that, I'm going to... While gonna, I'm doing this, I'm gonna, I'm adjusting gonna say, my mammoth easel, the Santa Fe easel. Oh, I've had this, I don't know if you can tell. This is like an heirloom. You know, like families have heirlooms. This is my heirloom. <laughs> I'm going to use a white chalk pencil to sketch it in, and John's going to do something here. Well, I was going to say, while you're doing it, I, I wanted to say, we've got over almost 200 people here in the room already, and it's just been, oh, people, come, come, come. come and so in. many likes. We've got over 100. Let's paint a painting. There's like over 120 likes, 127 likes, 28 likes. Just they keep going up. Thank you guys Thank so you much. I love the likes. Love seeing you guys all here today. Thank you so much. Uh, it's I see so I see all of the, there's so many mods here. And I know that we got you know, one of our mods is a little under the weather today. It flames out a little under the weather. So big hugs to her and big art hugs and high fives to all of our moderators who are here. I see them all here. I see Janine and Mark and Kim Sim and Christy. And uh, oh, I, 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 there's uh, 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 I think I saw. Let me scroll back. Was that Maricha? There is a Maricha here. No, Maricha is a big Nightmare Before Christmas fan. I'm going to sketch in first Sally's head. Okay. This is going to be about dinner plate size. I start it at almost the halfway mark on the right-hand side of my canvas. Okay. And I kind of curve up. It's really, honestly, Jack and Sally are both sort of beach balls. Can, can... If you're really, really terrible at circles, but you wanted to freehand this in, um, a probably a charger plate and a dinner plate will do you. Ah. Feel good about tracing around circles. That's okay. And yeah, some of her face goes off the canvas. Oh, okay. And that creates a little drama. Because I like I, drama on my canvas. Not in my drama. life. Boy, I'll cut out drama in my life real quick. But I like <laughs> drama on my canvas. It's a weird, it's a funny thing. My husband always cracks up. Because I'll cut the drama out in my life. Like, no. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm, you know, I'm an artist. I'm prone to it. I got to watch for it. So I'm going to put in Jack. His head is over hers and bigger. When I created this... I felt like I wanted to show something about the dynamic of the two of them, you know, about how they relate to each other. And I love his little, like, right behind her, just kind of watching over a little face that he's got going. Like, he trusts that she's got it. Hey, John. 
Are you on camera? How are you doing that? <laughs> oh, you put the up. So John, how, if you're brand, brand new here, my husband, John, also known as Stunt Hands, has an incredible set of skills to not be caught on camera. <laughs> But I do, extraordinary. I do occasionally leave traces like swinging lamps. So I can't say I go, <laughs> I go completely unnoticed, uh, but unnoticed. he's pretty good actually. So, so once I have these two circles, and you can see they're just two circles. This will probably remind you of a math graph you've seen in your life. It's a Venn Here's diagram. Here's their commonalities. Um, <laughs> Venn diagrams. <laughs> draw a Venn diagram, please, diagonally on the canvas. That's all you need to know to draw it in. You're like, this kind of reminds me of Yo Gabba Gabba. There's some elements there. I'm going to pull a little bit of his neck down. Her hair is going to cover it up, but it's good to know that it's there. Now, I'm going to make a line in what would be the center of her head, just coming straight up and down. This helps me anchor everything. And then right at the halfway point here, just right here, so I can put in her eyes. That's going to help me create the features in her face. Make some executive decisions about a neck coming down. This is quite fine and delicate, my neck. And then I'm just going to slope some shoulders going off. I wanted to show enough of her costume so you got a sense of Sally and scale. But this side of the shoulder goes off. See, isn't that? It's not even particularly hard, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Jack here, and I may even make his face a little bit bigger. It's okay. You can just totally work this out because we're going to paint right over this with with everything i'm going to come actually a little higher and i'm going to do an interesting thing and you might not be familiar with, i'm going to curve his eye line upward i'm trying to exaggerate some things about his face hmm. so that when i put his smile here in it goes up across here like this it's going to create this sort of protective um, kind of whimsical, like, I got, I'm going to let her get this, but if you mess up, I got you <laughs> kind of feeling. This is very much my, per my husband. My husband's like, um, I'm going to let her do her thing, but if you step up out line, <laughs> then I get to have a fun day. <laughs> so, you know, you pull from your own life, even in your own painting um, at home, pull from your own life. I'm going to sketch in his little eyes, which are quite big, but see, I've got the little brow here. So too big. Now, if you don't have a black canvas, just paint your canvas black with Mars black or whatever black you have oh, or black gesso. OK, if you don't have a material and really, let's just say this for all art tutorials on YouTube. If you don't have a material 80 percent of the time, there's an easy exchange. If the creator can't get back to you and answer that question, just search it. You should never, ever be stuck. The answers are out there, and they're, like, totally in the biggest, second biggest search engine in the world. Mm -hmm. Just, I, I use it, too. No. Sometimes no. I use it, too. I'm like, what can I exchange with this? You guys will ask me some crazy question, and I got to go to my friends or YouTube to find out, man. Yeah. You guys are creative. I'm going to put another eyeball up here. There's these little know. brushes, Haley and Kiki, I think. Oh, is Kiki here today? I think I see that. I, there's a, you guys have to bear with me today. I'm scrolling by. And there's a lot of questions out there. Awesome. And I know we've got to do some wishes. We're going to put the wishes in there. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I, I'm going to put a wish in. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Art YouTube. If you're brand new here today, there's a bunch of us that create amazing tutorials on YouTube. One of our good friends, Clive from Clive 5 Art, his uh, mom passed away. Mm. So if we could just all send a thought of strength and healing to him and his family during this time of loss... That would be amazing. I'm going to write that in Jack's face. You know, and wishes, um, you know, they can be serious, but they can also be silly. All wishes are valid. Yeah. You know, it could be like, I just want the good bubble gum <laughs> in the store today. If that's a good wish. You can put that in your canvas. Just the idea is to be optimistic. <laughs> I used to do this. I really hope this painting sells. <laughs> We're, so we have, we have a wish for we have a wish for for healing and well being for all of our community, especially those who have you know who have IBS and Crohn's and. Did we know. have one for Chrissy too? I th yeah, I think we did have one here for Chrissy. And I just yeah, and just our community in general. Yeah. You know, I don't. Uh, I appreciate getting all those in there. Yeah. 
and there's a lot more coming up in here in chat. Now we so, have uh, we have people here, and they capture wishes. We get wishes ahead of time. And remember, you can if a wish speaks to you, you can put that in your own canvas. Um, I know we have a wish uh, for uh, Lisa. For she's a cousin who's looking for kidneys. So we're gonna wish that he finds a kidney. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys really reached out and put a lot of prayers and thought into that. Yeah, and and for those who have anxiety, there seem there's there's. That's a big one. Yeah, mental health, mental well-being. I think it would be great if we had a, a greater understanding and support system for mental well-being. I could personally use some help there. Just we, <laughs> I think everybody can. <laughs> little, little mental well-being. It's I hard think. to stay mentally well and to <sighs> like you just watch the news and you're like, that's it. That was my mental well-being for the day. I'm gonna throw in Sally's eyes. You know, I I'm going to mark about an inch. Divided in half on either side. So you see, this is my halfway point, and I'm going to draw in a nice arc going on the upper line and a nice arc. And it'll, it can go off the canvas or not off the canvas, depending on how you drew her face. But it needs to be on this side. And then kind of a nice smile underneath. If you have had this experience where, you know, you feel like, oh, I draw eyes, but it feels like they're never the same on both sides. That is not unique. That is a common problem for new artists. The, I'm going to come down in the halfway point. You had a neat trick. Make a little mark for her nose, just that. I just need to know where that is. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to just draw this little smile in here. Even though I'm going to paint it out later, I just want to know where it is when I'm painting. Now, you had a neat trick for using tracing paper to flip the eye. I do. My trick used to be, before I got a handle of kind of mirroring both sides, is I would get one eye real good, then I'd trace it, I'd flip the paper over, and then I would transfer it. That worked pretty well, huh? It's not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> it's in no way cheating, and it really, really can help. Now, if you get dust or smudges or anything that you don't like on the black of your canvas, again, Mars Black is this black, so it's really easy to fix. I'm going to do this entire painting in brushes for acrylic painting with firm filaments. This is the exact opposite of all the makeup tutorial brushes that you see out there. They, they would tell you this is a terrible brush for makeup because it's too firm. And that's what you want in your brushes, whatever your brand is. This is Goldilocks Simply Simmons Extra Firm Filament Number 10. Not officially Goldilocks. That's just no, what we call her. No, I just her. say that. You guys got to stop asking art companies for <laughs> Goldilocks because they don't. No. Only the brush well, guys the brush know what guys. you mean. Let's plug them. Only here. the brush guys know what you mean. Everyone else is like, I don't. I've never heard of that brush. And you go over to the brush guys. They're awesome. Um, they give five. If you go, if you put in the art, the the code the art Sherpa, you yeah. get five percent off. Five percent off. Yeah, on on your entire order. So use that order. And any they do the fight to keep stuff in stock. And you know there and are other help. brushes besides Goldilocks that have firm filaments that are number ten bright. I'm just saying. Jeff and Dave. If they're out, you get a ruby satin. It's all right. Yeah, Jeff and Dave are awesome. I just want to say how awesome those guys yeah, are. So they are really cool. Okay. And they ship worldwide. And they're great. So they're just our friends. That's they we're just shouting out our friends because they've been treating you. They have good customer service. They treat you guys good. I'm gonna oh, dip yeah. my brush in the water and I'm gonna drag off the excess. Because my brush is not soft, it's not going to overtake up water. I'm going to come over to my palette. We'll talk about the colors real quick, which are in the description below. Thalo Blue, Cad Red Medium, Burnt Sienna, Yellow Oxide, Mars Black, Titanium White. And these three Milky Plops are acrylic glazing liquid gloss because when I thought I had a YouTube show, I thought it would be real fun to paint in an easy bake oven. I thought that's what I really want to do is paint in an easy bake oven. So we yeah. didn't have LED money. <laughs> There's a couple thousand watts of light over. <laughs> <laughs> that's my sunlight for the day. This is how I make vitamin D. <laughs> so I'm just going to get uh, my white paint here and I'm going to tint it with this a smidge of black. See how little I'm pulling out on my brush? Yes, that technical smidge. Smidge. It, dude, that's a technical term. Get into it. If Emerald can say bam, <laughs> I can say smidge, right? A scotch, a smidge. scotch, a smidge. So you see, this isn't going away at my bristles. I'm not getting a lot of paint. If I were to over grab paint from this plop, it would start to creep up my brush and get away from me. And I don't want that. And I don't want completely pure white paint because I'm going to want to give a highlight. Okay. And I'm going to start just painting in Mr. Skellington's wonderful skull. Uh, like Look at you the do. Center there for you. And I'm going to actually sort of follow the sketch that I put in. This is a neat trick. 
because the direction of your brush strokes can sometimes help you imply lines or shapes even if an image is super graphic and super flat. Now I'm going to actually paint his whole skull in and then paint her head over it. Why do I do that? Because I want good brush line flow. You don't have to do that. I just like it. Huh. Okay. You could very carefully paint around her head, but then you would find your brush strokes were painting around her head. Hmm. And that might not be ideal for what you're going for. But the first thing is, is just to kind of create the shape of this eye here. We're going to come back and define it and everything around him and put those wishes into the universe. You know, where the they go. Into the universe. Into the universe. I don't know. I watch well, a lot of quantum stuff. I, I, I think the Beatles <laughs> had it right. So. Do you? Yeah. Most, most of the time. The Beatles just refer back to the Beatles? Yes. I know Chuck believes the Beatles certainly have it right. By the way, if you were hoping for a completely quiet tutorial where there was going to be no talking, uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, we are Sherpa. Oh my gosh. -uh. Yeah, I just looked over there and the chat were just like. Brand new people. Like, if you've never been here before, why do we say we are Sherpa? Because whenever we get to 300 likes or people, I got to dance. You Give do. me a beat. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm looking for it's some beat. It's actually just really good uh, when I don't, you're painting uh, to move I'm around looking. and yeah, have, a little, have a little move. If our, our, our one piece of good dance music. I'm going to have to upgrade here pretty quick because we are Sherpa so often now. Thank you guys. So what I'll say is, is thank you so much <laughs> for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. It really is what allows us to do what we do here. It helps get more people, let people know what we're doing and that we're all here and that you like what you see. So don't forget to hit that share button. Make sure you get it out there on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and all of the little tweet, 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 tweet. I'm so, I try so hard on Twitter. Twitter is so hard. <laughs> So, and, and when we get to, to 300 likes, which I'm pretty sure we will today, because they're just skyrocketing. Thank you, guys. Yeah. We're at 267 already. Ooh, I'm, we're I'm going to be dancing a lot. I'm going to have to run and put some clothes on, because I got my pajamas on today. Oh, John actually considers it a success if he can stay in his pajamas an entire day. I'm wearing my pajama shirt today, so I'm going to have to go grab a Sherpa shirt here He works quick. real hard. He just wants to do it from his pajamas. I do. I think not like Hugh Hefner. I'm just, they're not like really, they're Doctor Who pajamas. So. Yeah, you know, I just feel like you know, we have victory if I if I have successfully won bread for the family from pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just painting this all in, and I don't even have to be that crazy about you know how like completely perfect on the inside it is, though I will keep a clean line on the outside as you're painting remember to breathe and just relax relax your shoulders relax your body relax your arm don't get tense sometimes because we have memories from art school yeah <laughs> from kindergarten actually not even art school from some kindergarten teacher who's like you're using the crayons wrong um we feel a little tense <laughs> <laughs> we feel that it comes back up and you want to make sure that when you're painting you're just letting it go yeah something if you've never ever painted before and I think we're gonna get a lot of people who've never painted before today because Jack and Sally are so loved just pay attention to how I'm loading my brush you can see that it's wicking up into this is the ferrule what's called the ferrule but I'm still keeping the paint predominantly down at the tip of the brush I'm pulling it out loading it here when I want a fine line I go on the edge of the bristles like this, but when I want to fill in, I go on the wide. Oh, nice. And don't think it's crazy if you didn't know that. You wouldn't know it till you know it. There are so many donuts in the chat right now. I'm trying Thank to leave guys. a little of my black line here so I remember where it is, but it may get moved. <laughs> you know me. I like to move things in my painting. I do. I have seen some of these, John, uh -huh. who have had the skulls and Sally's face done. As Dias de las Muertas. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. <gasps> I wanted to do that, but then I thought we'd like to go home eventually, and we already get so much grief for <laughs> me being so chatty and the videos being long. Uh, I tell you what, you know, maybe there's a sign from the universe, though, because this morning when uh -huh. I went to Starbucks, yeah? guess what kind of cookies they had? Dias de las Muertas cookies. They were so Did you see those? I took pictures. I did. I gave it to Luna. Luna asked me 35 times. If she asked me a single time, my, my littlest is Luna. She is four. 
And so, did you show the cookie? And I don't have any cookies. Okay. So, this, it's like a dead, a dead skull cookie at Starbucks right now? Yeah. No, I'm not sponsored by Starbucks. I'm We're just not telling you where the good cookie is. It's Jeff. Because I'm your friend, and I'm always going to tell you where the good cookie is. Get the cookies. Anyhow, the good cookie right now is at Starbucks, if you have one of those. And it's the Dia de los Muertos. And my daughter kept saying, is it for me to eat? Can I eat it? And then she made me take a picture of her with the cookie. So that she, if she ate it, the cookie could still exist. And then her brother was like, you didn't eat the cookie, did you? It's really pretty. So, just super funny. I'm going to keep painting in Jack Skellington. I'm leaving just a smidge of this black line, just so I know where it is. It's not perfect. I just want to, I kind of want to know what I was thinking. Because oh. sometimes in a painting, I'll get going and I'm like, I don't remember what I was thinking. And I can't ask you guys. I can't be like, do you know what I was thinking? <laughs> You know, I think that some of the sure pets probably could could have a good guess. They'd be like, yeah, you probably were working on this. They've been here for a little while. But, I mean, if you were new here, you'd be like, what is up with this lady? Uh-huh. Yep. Well, this is what's up with me. So, there you go. You're painting crazy. I'm crazy, and I paint paintings, and I share it with the world. Because I think that art changes people, and people change the world. That's a great way to make the world a better place. I'm going to get a little more black on this brush. And the reason I put a little more black, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm making a little gray shadow here. Are you? Under his chin. Little gray shadow under his chin. Oh, and Buku is saying that uh, she's feeling motivated to paint. And thank you. And I'm like, well, yes, you should go paint. That's the number yes. one thing we think you should do is pick up a brush and paint. That's not the number one thing, but it's a good thing that you can do with your weekend. Well, that's what we're here for. Like, go paint. And this is Definitely a whole day paint. of painting. If you love, if you've just discovered live art on YouTube and you think, wow, this this is pretty awesome. Our good friend Angela Anderson mm -hmm. is going to be live later today at 2 o'clock. More fun with Angela. She's going to paint a little foxies. Yay. He's so cute. He has glasses. Have I'm going to add a little more white under here. And if you guys haven't seen it, her willow tree is the bomb. So it's really she's good. just done this fantastic willow tree. You should go check out. Really beautiful shades of blue and stuff in there. Loved it. So Very cool. Yeah. All right. So I have him kind of roughed in. And I'm going to rough in Miss Sally. So I'm going to put my brush down and get another brush. <laughs> she's, I'm, I want, I have more delicate edges on her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this number 8 bright. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do. And 8 bright is smaller than <laughs> 10 bright. <laughs> and that's the difference. So if all you had was a number 10 bright. You could use it. You could use it. And if no you. No panicking. No panicking. I would Try not I, to panic during your painting because probably you took it up. You took painting up as a hobby to relax. This is my concern. And I think that I, I could, it's probably echoed by a lot of people here. Is that okay. if I'm not using the exact tool that you're using i might not get the same result no i like to share and be very transparent about the tools that i'm using but they're not intrinsically necessary i painted with coffee before there are people in the world that paint with string and charcoal and will blow your mind is art comes from you you're the art not to get kung fu panda on you uh -huh. but panda look at the reflective scroll you are the dragon warrior. The art is in you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just sometimes spiritual enlightenment comes in the form of a cuddly, cuddly fat panda. I think I just, I, 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 Flame just said, Flame just joined us back and she's Flame. feeling a little better. And I think that she said that Mr. CPG is here. Oh, he is. <gasps> I see Mr. Mr. Chris plays games. He's joined us. Hey, dude. Art hey. high fives. <laughs> so... He is one of our very favorite people that we got to meet. You know how we like to adventure. We have away missions to uh, VidCon and different places. Chris is one of the first people that we met on an away mission. Uh huh. And he's, he has just been such a gift in our lives. Yeah. He's probably one of the he coolest He has a really dudes. cool channel. Yeah. If you, oh, yes. If you want to like uh, hang up at night and watch uh, video games get played and mm -hmm. talk about crazy YouTubery. He does that. He does that. He's got some good behind uh, inside baseball, as we like to call it. Inside <laughs> baseball. I'm totally taking that from DeFranco. Inside baseball. Yeah. Chris is not necessarily safe for work. Well, it, but we, mostly. It, it's so funny because he he was he was joking with me the other day on. I'm gonna pull out some phthalo blue and a little bit of black, just letting everybody know what we're doing. Yeah. So I'm going to create this sort of bluish black color. Oh. And then I'm gonna add 
white to it. I see. I'm getting this blue. This is this is Sally's skin tone right here. A little bit of black, a little bit of blue, and some white. And I'm gonna grab my glazing medium because again, my studio be hot. And you can see I'm just gonna paint over his skull now. But my brush strokes are good. Are they? See? Look at Why do? I. But you know what? The thing is, it doesn't. It, because you're double Sherpa cinnamon. What? Is, if you're wondering, if you're like, double why are they Sherpa. dancing? What's happening? How is this art really made? The truth is, in your average art studio, uh, artists are goofs. We actually we do just randomly dance. You, not like fame, not like in a coordinated great way. No. But we put the music on and we dance and we have games and there's kind of like these little memes that happen. And this really is part of art life. Art life is really about just releasing insecurity and letting it go and just being your authentic goofy self. Like mm -hmm. whatever, who, whatever one of a kind person that you are, go be that unicorn. Be the unicorn that you are. Got a lot of unicorns in here. Yeah. We do. And and we I celebrate. I can't imagine trying to figure out what the heck we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to paint this blue very carefully around her eyes. Because <laughs> I want her, I want this base color. Acrylic paint is about layers. It's very forgiving though. You can fix any mistakes that you have. Not that you really have mistakes in art. But any boo-boos that you're not happy with, you just fix it once the paint is dry. And I'll show you how to do that during the painting. Yeah. I'll make a boo-boo, and then I will fix the boo-boo. You'll fix it? I will. I feel like there's an action movie in there somewhere. I think, oh, hey, look. Hi, Honor. Hey, Honor. How is Honor doing? Now, I am not surprised Honor is here for Jack and Sally. <laughs> I am not. If, if you're brand new, you might notice that we know some of our community members pretty well. We do. We like to give art hugs and art high fives. You know, I try to, you know, I see so many of our people here, Colleen and Susan and Gail, and like, it gets to be romper room up in here when I'm like, hey, everybody. And Cinnamon's like, I got to paint. I got, I got to tell them I'm mixing blue. And, With black. Still and, doing that. <laughs> and doing that right now to make it tonally shifted so that it's chromatically aligned to the stars. I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. It works. Whatever, whatever gets you through the painting, whatever helps you feel good in your life, man. Oh, I, and uh, we have to say hi to little little brush Raven. <gasps> Raven, hi Raven. Mm -hmm. Hi Raven, how are you doing? Are you painting? I hope you're painting. Oh, and definitely, guys. Oh, uh, should be. I yeah. love doing that. I love getting right and like really looking at everybody. Don't forget to post your pictures up. Don't we forget to share to your it. finished paintings with us. Now, a little note on fan art, guys, because this is what this is. This is fan art. I do not own Jack Skellington or Sally. They don't belong to me. Now, what blue are you using there? Thalo blue. Now, is so, it... just know that these are for your personal enjoyment. This is for education purposes and your personal enjoyment. Now, does it matter which shade you're using? The, on the Thalo blue? Yeah. Most Thalo blues won't designate the shade. If you get pro paints, they will have a red shade and a green shade. You want the green shade if you're getting a pro paint like Golden or Liquitex. Okay. Because that's a new thing that they, they did. They were like, oh, artists need more shades. <laughs> they need them so that they can be more confused in the art store. It is. There seriously is. Like, sometimes you get in oh. there and you see five new products and you're like, really? I just learned the last set. Little Brush Kiki says she loves the painting. Little Brush Kiki loves the painting? Yes. Did I do a good job, Kiki? Mm -hmm. I, I hope, I, you've got to let me know. You've got to let me know. Yeah, they, Did I do a good job? You know, they, they're, they're all like, have you played with the Yinmen yet? I have been looking at the Yinmen. It's been studied. We put it under glass. We put it in a microscope. <laughs> no, we're actually really looking at yeah. that because there's going to be a whole week of the yin min. It, it'll start making appearances very soon. But I, I've got to make sure that I've got a backup blue. So when I do some projects with it, you've got your blue, which will pro probably you could just get away with thalo blue to do anything I'm going to do with the yin min. You know, at home, unless you live in Australia. Yeah. And then you can get Yinman. What'd you do? I, I switched away. I was reading because Little Brush Zella is excited to be here too. Zella. And and I love that name. Yeah, and sometimes That's a good good name, good name. I think Zella's a really pretty name. 
Yeah. And, and you know I'm partial to any name that begins with a Z or an X. That is super true. Like Zangela. <laughs> yeah, we had we had. I mean, not that not that we didn't go bananas when we named our kids, but yeah, John had some interesting suggestions. So I'm still <laughs> just going to paint her in the whole rest of the way. And I'm not trying to rush today, guys, because I know a lot of you paint all along with me. So I did right. get those notes. You know, I get caught between um, these interesting rocks in a hard place because I'll get people who are like, you talk too much. I really like your art. And if you could just not be you, that would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you just give this to this other person that I like. That would be awesome. Like, That's a favorite one that I get. Most of you are like, no, I love you and I love your stuff. But we, we do try to listen to our community members mm -hmm. when they make suggestions like picture in picture or any, anywhere that we can. You know, meet you guys in the middle and make sure this is more fun for you, we try to do. And I have had some requests to make sure that I'm not going so fast, nobody can paint along. Because <laughs> I've been like, oh, let's get these done in an hour. And we're going to, we have some different paste stuff we're working on. We have mm -hmm. a, we have our, our, our shows that we produce for like uh, public access and things like that. So that we want to make those, you know, those are pretty dialed in right around an hour. Yeah. Those pretty much come in in an hour. And I'm not unhappy and I'm not sad. I'm just getting used to what I'm allowed to say for Peg and what I'm not allowed to say for Peg. Which is really funny because <laughs> I have to say. So many outtakes on those. I'm just painting in her neck. And I might need to move my canvas to get a better angle at this. If you ever need to move your canvas because it's inconvenient, remember these things flip and rotate. And can I give a big art hug to uh, to Trent and to yeah. James, who have both made it possible for us to do all the wonderful things we have with our with our um, our, our public broadcast. Yeah. And I really appreciate your guys' help and support, and, and it's just been amazing. So thank you. We're so excited to be part of that and to help more people have access to good free art education. Yeah. And you guys help make our dreams come true of putting crazy space unicorns on at 2 a.m. Space unicorn. Okay, it's in that, can I? I don't mm. own it. Content ID. I love strike. how I'm always worried, but content ID never acknowledges that I'm even singing. I grabbed a little more black. You're so optimistic. In <laughs> I am. When I'm thinking that content ID is even going to know it was me, I am really being optimistic. I'm going to rinse my brush <laughs> out a lot. And I'm going to let Sally dry. Okay. I'm going to come and work out Mr. Skellington All right. and his cool groove. Isn't he groovalicious? I think he's so cool. He is so cool. I'm going to get some just black and a little of my glazing medium just because, again, it's really hot and dry where I am. If you're in a place that has ideal painting conditions, you might never even need to mist your palette or do anything. So I'm coming here and I'm taking this black line a little bit past this ocular cavity here and I'm curving it like a smile and then I'm going to pull it in and arch it up and you can even take this off a little bit if you want to I mean I may have taken that too far off <laughs> see already having to fix my boo-boos boo-boos happen you know I agree with Bob that there aren't really mistakes and aren't happy accidents but he was using a fan brush <laughs> and <laughs> That's kind of a different set of rules, guys. <laughs> so sometimes boo-boos happen in your art and you got to fix them. And, and that's okay. You can totally do that. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to grab a little smidge of white. Not a lot, but I just want to come in here. And I don't want this just, just black, if that makes sense. I want a little shading in here. Oh. It'll make a difference in your painting. I never bug you about stuff that won't make a difference in your painting. But a little dimensionality inside his eye will make him feel a little more emotive. And you want him to feel like protective and loving and all that. I'm going to wipe my brush off and just get some more black paint. If you have a lot of white on your brush, you may need to rinse your brush off. I'm going to come and do the same sort of line here with the curve. See, I'm just painting on the edge of my number eight. If you have trouble getting these lines with a bright, mm -hmm. switch to a detail round, which looks like this. Whenever you're uncomfortable in a brush, change it up. 
Chris has got good questions, but I'm going to... Oh, what is... I'm uh, interested... Because Chris answers our questions. I want to answer Chris's questions. He's all like asking all inside baseball questions. Uh, Uh, We'll we'll get to him. We'll get to him. I'm going to tell... We have art questions. We probably have an art question. We have art questions. We have to go through. Okay. (laughs) So, uh, if you're running low on Mars Black... Uh, from painting the canvas, <laughs> right? Uh, can you mix up phthalo blue and burnt sienna to make black? Or will you that mean not- can you make a chromatic black? <laughs> that is such a good question, and yes, you can. So we have a whole quest. I'm sure Flame will throw it up, and I'll put it in after in the links. We have this thing called the Big Art Quest, where weekly, uh, it's I don't want to say it's art school, but I tell you everything you need to know for the art store the quests the quests. you get badges you get badges it's just but very happy and you go along and hopefully at the end of that year you go into the art store and you can go to a workshop or a class and feel very comfortable anyways we covered the blacks what's the difference between them and chromatic blacks chromatic blacks are when you mix a black with colors and it appears black to your eye but is not actually black mm-hmm. yes and you can use thalo blue and burnt sienna you might want to even Throw some dioxanine in there. You yeah. know, we could, you know, or some cad red. Like, if, if this was all I had out, I would probably do this, this, and this to get a chromatic black. Okay. Maybe That's a little, what I would do. Maybe I'll, a little later on you can do a little bit of that? Yeah, I could do a little bit of that. I could do that right now and just rinse it out for you guys that might be interested. <gasps> okay. Because I can answer these questions on, on the, fly. the fly. So, you see, that's pretty dark. Whoa, that is. Right? As it is right now, okay. the thalo okay. blue. Now, before you go anywhere, can you... And take... a smidge, a little of the burnt sienna. I'm zoomed in right between his eyes. Can you hold your brush up over there so we can see that? The Right here? Yeah. Oh, you want me to... I'll, I'll, I'll put it right here. I'll oh. paint it in. Oh, I, you can even see it was still mixing on the brush some. Yeah, but it looks black oh still. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's chromatic black. Is it, it black? No, no black pigment was used in the making of that. It's almost just as black as the other one was. Yeah. Yeah. Never, never stress out. In the middle of a painting. People are like, how are you so relaxed? I'm like, eh, it'll work out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here a long time. Stuff will, I just got to get tonalities together. I don't really have to be that specific. All right, so I'm on the top of the eyebrow, and I'm making a parallel line that's going to follow this line. Uh-huh. It implies that this man's skull is a bit animated and flexible. That's crazy. It, but that's what we're doing. It does indeed imply Doesn't that. it? Now I'm going to get a little bit of white on here and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm creating nice lines between his eye and the skull that's all nice lines between the eye and the skull <laughs> oh, so and there comes the dislike now, if <laughs> <laughs> actually just so you know we've got like 330 people and 333 likes we Those gonna... actually do matter about a bazillion percent more. And just so you know, the other one doesn't. Though I have one person who's really committed to the thumbs down. And when they miss a video, I get we worried have about none. them. We have no, no thumbs down today. None? Thank you, guys. Yeah. Like, so I'm worried about them. Like, are they Now okay? we're going to have like a billion. Because <laughs> I know they don't approve. <laughs> so what I will say is, guys, thank you so much, <laughs> so much. for coming and hanging out. Um, make sure that you post your pictures. We want to see all of your beautiful pictures up on our Facebook page. Yeah. And Twitter, our... Instagram. I find them. I we find them. And if you if you get if you get hashtag them out there, Art Sherpa. That's right. Now remember, also remember, we're going to have our sun uh, our Sunday Fun Day show, our community Woo! show. Fun Day Sunday. And that's definitely the place for that's inside baseball. That's where we baseball. show you guys off. Yeah, that's to def- you. I'm yeah. just putting white paint on a little bit over the slightly gray. Why are you paint. doing that? Because the the contrast between the bright white and the gray makes him feel more skullish. Now you just painted it dark. You just painted all that dark, you know, white grayed white in. Why are you going back in and putting? It's well. Do, can you see how the dark gray is kind of showing through the white, Actually, and it makes the, the white bit. feel more white? The camera cannot see why I do this thing. I'm very Mr. Miyagi with you guys. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, now you can totally see it. See it? Yeah. Totally what's happening there. Come here between these two and just do that. So why? Because it makes it feel more complete and more finished. This is really one of the first differences between an experienced artist and a new artist is I know that this next layer will help the piece. Oh, yeah, it really does make a difference. And and that's why a lot of times the Sherpettes, when you see the Sherpettes out there in the world, and I see them out there in the world doing other things, wandering around, doing other projects. But you'll see that they have, especially those in the Big Art Quest, 
they have more of these skills in their paintings. Yes. And I'm always like, it's so cool. I love when I hear from, I went to a workshop and I knew everything they were talking about. Oh my gosh. Now see, I overextended that a little bit. So I'm oh. going to just paint this out. See, I'm just coming here with my white. Look at that. Just went away. Now there's been a lot of requests here for some more uh, Jack and perhaps for, you know, there's some other people who feel like they may want to start decorating in uh, October and just leave those decorations up until uh, that's New That's the Year's. ultimate dream of a nightmare before Christmas, isn't it? See, I'm keeping my brush strokes going with that, and I'm going to do some on his jaw, and then I'm going to get his face in. He's almost done. It looks really good. So it, it, are, are you dry brushing that on? Cause it looks I like am. So there's two types of m methods in paint where I might moisten my brush and make the paint more fluid. Uh -huh. I can use a medium here and make the paint more fluid like that or dry brushing which is that I don't have any water on my brush I just load the heavy body paint uh -huh. and allow the canvas's texture to grab this and put this on here isn't that fun ah and that's why it, it, it I love looks, doing this with you sweetheart <laughs> is that why it looks smoother and chunkier in different areas like that yeah and really heavy body paint is a little better at this than soft body paint which is like craft paints ah is that, that's why you like using it? I like it because it's more versatile. It gives me more choices. Not that it's better. It just gives me more choices. I'm going to put the bright white on this side of his neck. And then the other thing that I'm, I might do is add a curl. But I like to put her hair in a bit before I put in his curls because I don't want his curls to get lost. Gotcha. Now I've got to define him with my black paint. And I'm going to get a smaller brush because when I want to have more control... Having a smaller brush helps me do that. This is a number four bright. You could use a number two bright. You could use a number two shader. You could use a detail round. What you want to pick is a brush that gives you control over a fine line. If you're not really sure if you can do a fine line or not, uh, you can always try it on a scratch piece of paper, like pull out some paint and just get some like computer paper and be like, how fine can I make this line before you put it on your canvas that you're feeling pretty good about? Yeah. And that will also help us where, like, you guys aren't writing me going, I've had this happen. How do I fix it? And then I'm going to be like a hair dryer. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, coming here, coming along here, just curving up with this paint. Oh, curving my up, gosh. Curving up. I have a request for, uh, for an art shout out, too. But I. I'm uh, happy to shout out. It's one of those, uh -oh, it's one of those I names. I do this differently I'm than maybe I wanted to. So, look, I have a boo-boo there, and I might change that. How will I change that? I'm going to let it dry with my hair dryer. Oh, okay. I'm going to be left here alone for this. So, uh, Siobhan? So, what? I'm, uh, Siobhan? I'm going to say hi to Siobhan. I, uh, it's S-I-O-B-H-A-N. Uh-huh. Siobhan. I'm hoping that's correct. And uh, art high fives. Art high fives? What are we art high fiving? Um. Some? Yeah, just wanted to shout out. I think a little brush, and it was oh, a oh little brush. Hey, Simon. <laughs> and, and and there was a marriage is complicated. I don't want to tell you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Shiv, Shivon. 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 Okay, Shivon. Shivon. Um, Stun Hands is just he's not good at names. No, it's not you. It's really him. Yeah. Yeah, it's him. So but but I make him so happy because he's like. <laughs> but in all fairness, it is spelled S I B S I O B H A N. No, 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 I but, can't handle that. But pronounced S H I V A U G H N. I'm gonna make two teardrop shapes here for the nose, guys. Because <laughs> <laughs> John is lost. Here. The height of these teardrop nose parts. Um, what this is gonna help me make this look like. Is that his that he's looking, his head is cocked back and looking down. Mm -hmm. So even though I haven't done a lot of lighting and a lot of shading and all that, and I may have to trim these nostrils back, they got a little big. He's gonna need to go to the the plastic surgeon. The bone surgeon. Yep, the bone surgeon, and get his nose done. All right. All right. So we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna make some vertical little lines. Ooh. Just up and down, little vertical little lines, evenly spaced apart. One little trick, though, I want to say is at the center of the head, you don't want the line right here. Just won't look nice. Interesting. That's a good tip. Why is that? It creates this weird focus, and it, and it won't feel like his face is symmetrical. It's the weirdest thing. It creates a weird visual moment, and it's something I've always noticed is like you don't want a, that next line there. That's a really good tip. I would have like naturally just gone yeah, right in there. Yeah, everybody does. I do. I want to do it. 
But you look at the brilliant artists at Disney, they avoided it. <laughs> <laughs> and the artists at Disney are right about pretty much everything. Though they, they, they you know, they don't like hire the chumps, right? Right. <laughs> so I'm going to make a slightly darker gray. Look at how totally together he is. I just want to make sure that this is shaded here before I get on to Miss Sally, who is the fun part of this painting to me. And I may have to I may have to give him that nose job because I'm not feeling those nostrils. They feel too yeah. big to me, guys. Do they? They feel too big and unresolved. So I'm going to go like this. Okay. I'm going to take my hair dryer. I'm going to dry them. Dry them up. <sighs> ah, so for all of you guys who are out there and know that, that uh, Flame is uh, head of the Sherpet uh, WoW Guild. And mm -hmm. she's, uh, I was just saying that, sh that, that, that Flame is head of the Sherpet WoW Guild. Oh, yes. And, and she's, uh, we'll be talking more about that on the Sunday show uh, coming up tomorrow. But I'm going to get a number two shader so it's smaller so I can work around the nostrils. I saw some folks out there in the chat talking about that. I think they're going to have some fun. So yeah, I just sort of trim this up. Uh huh. Make these a little bit smaller, a little more. Petite. Petite. Well, he looks his, his. They look less flared. They look less flared. Like less yeah. like he's gonna put the beat down on somebody. <laughs> <laughs> now you made me think of Willem. Stop it. <laughs> 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 All right. So Miss Sally here. Miss <gasps> Sally. Miss Sally. We're gonna start painting in her face. I think I'm gonna get. I'm going to be alternating between a, oh gosh, what do I want? As I look through my brushes, what do I what want? What do you want? I think I'm going to do fours and a eight for this. You could do a six. You could use a tilt brush. Yes, and I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to take the little bit of black. How's my sound? Your sound's good. I bumped my mic. Wait, wait, was Chris asking inside baseball? Oh, it was earlier. I said, There's so many questions that come up here since then. They're actually all on to, so... Uh, what are they on to now? What is the pertinent question now? Well, I actually, none of them are particularly pertinent. Well, ask whatever. What I don't mind it. I'll answer whatever's out there. That's how cool I am. So, what game is it that that uh, Flame and all the Sherpets are in playing? World of Warcraft. And and I'm gonna and, switch to my number eight. Okay, and they're they're so now they're all. That's what's going on in there. They're okay. just trying to find out what is WoW, who's playing. Well, these Where's are good things. Out? We should talk about that here because people at home might be like, I don't know what WoW is. Yeah. So here's a trick. <laughs> I'm going to come up with this brush, and I'm going to imply kind of an eyebrow line. Now I'm going to be painting this and refining this as I go. But everything kind of basically above this line is going to be this lighter gray-blue. Now, are, are the A little more blue than gray. Are the ruby satin silvers firm like the Simply Simmons? Yeah, dude. The ruby satin silvers, there's there's a lot of brushes that are as good as the Simply Simmons. They're just not, you know, three ninety five. But they're as good and also generally come with guarantees and warranties or something. And don't pop as easily in a cup of water. Popping if you've never painted before means if you leave this brush. Not this brush, this is a really good brush, but if you left, um, you know, most brushes in a cup of water for an extended period of time, the coating can pop off because the wood swells. Gotcha. And a good brush is less likely to do that. Now, let's see here, there's another question. So the Ruby Satins are a really, really, really good brush. They're like, you know, to brushes as golden paint is to paint. Now, uh... But they're not, they're not 395 and you can get them at the brush guys too, so if they're like out of... of Goldilocks, and you're like, man, I have to have a number 10. You know, as long as it's in budget, don't hurt your budget. Now, CJ here was having some trouble. Okay. Uh, she said that uh, I use the gel medium on my painting, but it makes my work dry quick. What do I do? Help. Gel medium. That's because you're using gel medium, not glazing liquid. Ah, so you need to get the... Okay, so... Something like this is a gloss medium and varnish. I can take small amounts of paint and tint and tone this. This particular product is also a varnish. It's the only one that's also is a medium and a varnish. All the rest are either varnishes or mediums. This extends the use of my paint, so I can use less paint that I paid a lot of money for by extending hair or soft body gel or any kind of gel actually. They can come in matte or translucent. You can learn more about them on the Big Art Quest. This is acrylic glazing liquid gloss. 
This is both a retarder, in other words, it slows the drying time on my paint down, and a glaze. It is the only product so far that I've found that is both. If you want to just slow the paint, paint down, but you don't want to glaze, I really like the Grumbacher Retarder. None of that is sponsored. That's just truth from my studio. That's just my studio truth. I speak my truth to you. So see how I'm making the area above here just slightly lighter? I'm going to come down to where I know her nose is going to end. I'll refine this a little bit, but I just want to kind of plan this in. And I'm going to take this into maybe a little more of a point. Because believe it or not, she actually has kind of a, a point there. And I'm going to work this up top. Her face is going to be in several layers. Sally, for being undead, actually has pretty decent skin. <laughs> when you paint her, you'll familiar, familiarize yourself with it. You're like, oh, she's got pretty decent skin. I'm going to come underneath the eyes here. I'm not going to take this all the way to the nose because I'm going to be adding some... There we go. Darker shape. Let's just add this next layer around here. Oh. Lightening her up. There's so many good suggestions for some paint. more paintings. I saw okay. one. I uh, saw requests for uh, uh, the one that just came up was for Beetlejuice. But there oh was yeah, I really because I'm you know I'm Gen X, so I'm I am, you know what I mean? Like more <laughs> Beetlejuice. I am strange and unusual. Hocus Pocus. Yeah, Hocus Pocus is very good. There's another request for that. So a couple. That's yeah, good stuff. Those are the wise. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just, I, you know, I am strange and unusual, and I was strange and unusual at a time when you really got grief for it, which is why I'm so reactionary to it now. I think we should all just accept each other. Embrace the strange. Embrace the strange. Embrace the strange and unusual. Embrace, you know, maybe those that are animated <laughs> and bouncy mm -hmm. as much as, you know, those that are chilled out. That's all equally good. <laughs> So you kind of see how her nose is starting to kind of take a space here, right? Mm -hmm. Because we've added that next layer. I'm going to come in. I've added a little more white to my brush, but I haven't rinsed it off. And I'm going to come under this eye, even though I'm going to come back with some dark, right here at her cheeks, I want these just a little bit feeling rounded out. Mm -hmm. And this slight lighter tone will do that for me. Yeah, I just... We could paint burning this up, but, you know, i actually show you how to paint it so you can go on and paint it later. So this is really interesting. There was, I, I just saw the, this girl by, mm. but uh, I think it's Love Piano Artists. Mm -hmm. She was saying that she, she, she the, the dry brushing technique that you did on Jack's face ma makes her feel like it's unfinished. Now, I noticed that that's a stylistic thing. And, mm -hmm. I, and, and uh, can you talk about, you know, how you cr use that, those dry brushing techniques to create those tones and why you do that? Because everything that we do in art conveys an emotion or an intention. So if I paint things uh, very smoothly with even flat coats of paint and very defined fields, I convey a sense of order in construction in the canvas. If I dry brush him, that creates... I don't know if you notice, it's very energetic. He'll feel finished to most people viewing it because he has enough paint on him and he's conceived enough. And you got to realize sometimes Mondrian didn't paint the whole canvas, right? So that's still even just a choice. Everything you're doing, you guys ask me a lot, what are the rules in art? There aren't rules in art. There are skills in art. There are guidelines in art. And how you mix and mash those in your own little kind of cauldron, your own little pot of you is how style starts to come out of you and how you start to tell the world your version of it. And so Jack, he's in this, he's not stagnant. Like if, if I were if I were doing him kind of like relaxed and laid back, I might have been inclined to paint him smoother. But because I wanted him to feel energetic, I used a rougher, more energetic brush stroke. Now can I what? I was also going to say that as you back away from the canvas, it changes its view. Oh, yeah. You've got to back away from your canvas a bunch while you're painting it. Because yeah. you guys have this this straight... I'm like, I'm super zoomed in on my, with RoboCamp. So you're yeah, seeing but when you back away, it doesn't feel the same. Which is why sometimes like when you see paintings on like social media, it'll feel one way, but you get right up on them. And, they're, and you know they may not feel as good. A lot of... Um, you know, I used to work in the um, paint party industry. A lot of paintings are like that. They photograph one way, but they're very different inside the studio. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot about distance and photography. So you see I'm adding a little highlight there a little bit yeah. to this side of her. It's subtle, but it's there. 
it's subtle, but it's there. I'm going to rinse out my brush bit. Because I'm, I'm crazy like that. I'm going to get my number four. Your number four? Number four. And I'm going to shade out her eyeball. She's looking up at him. Did you know that? I, I did not know that. <laughs> she is. She's looking up at him. Is that what she's doing? I, thought... I And I thought about this a lot. I'm like, you know, where do I put Sally's focus? Because that was important to me. Where do you put the focus in your painting? Because if she looked out at the viewer, it conveys one story. He's looking at you, though, kind of like letting you know don't roll up in here. But she's <laughs> looking at him. Are you sure she's not rolling your, her eyes at some no, bad joke sure. you made? No, I'm very sure. She doesn't do that. <laughs> Nobody here would do that. So just at this outer corner here, I've got this soft dove gray that I'm painting here. Oh, so that See this? It's just at this outer corner. And then I'm going to pick up more white and blend this coming in. So what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to shade this shape. Now that break in your, your, your groove here, is yes. it, it's okay to use like craft paints and stuff for this folk yes, art paints? Yes, it is okay to use anything. There's not an, it's not okay to use it. Always, you know, get the art materials that your budget allows for or that you have access to and figure out what their temperament is and make it work. So if you're at a place where you only have like craft paints, you know, you just want to know things about them like how quickly they dry, how much pigment coverage they have, if they darken as they dry, that's called color shift. And once you familiarize yourself with what your materials do, mm -hmm. you can paint anything with them. And, and we talk a lot about longevity and how long a painting will last, but really that's for the people who have to preserve the painting to worry about. <laughs> So, <laughs> sorry, that's no, terrible. no, no, <laughs> it's true. That isn't necessarily your worry. And frankly, a good varnish, we were just looking at an article by Golden where they varnished something mm -hmm. that was supposed to fade out in three months and it like went three years. And I just thought, you know, that's just really funny. You just put golden varnish on anything, it's going to last forever, which to me was like comically possible. <laughs> So we're gonna have to give another. Little, we have another little brush with us, Layla. Hi, Layla. So, hi, Layla. Art, art hugs and high fives to you. Now I made her face a little bigger this time when I drew it, so her eyes off the canvas. You know, maybe your eyes not off the canvas. These little differences between our paintings just don't really matter. Oh no, we've created a monster here. Chris is in here trying to rally people for the 14 more likes to get us to 400 likes so that I'll come out and dance. <laughs> Chris is like, wait, I'm a gamer. I will figure this out. Wait, wait, get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> oh, I love that Chris is hung in today. Oh, you guys just don't can't imagine what a sweetie pie Chris is. If you've been here with me a long time, you will remember when the fox first went up. Oh, and that yeah. was my first, like, kind of three-hoot painting where I was like, oh, we could really paint together, mm -hmm. you know, and we could take this to that next level. And for whatever reason, it vanished off of YouTube one day. Just, <laughs> Just gone. So I write them, and they're like, you violated terms of service. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a new YouTuber, and I'm like, how? How did we? Did we bought the music, and I didn't say anything, and there weren't tags, there was nothing. And it's like, you know, we paint. I'm like, I painted a fox. you got to <laughs> tell me what went wrong because all my paintings are like the same. Am I going to lose everything? What did I do? And we went back and forth and we actually met Chris and he helped us realize that it, you know, was just a glitch in the system and re-upload. And we're just really grateful to him forever because you can't imagine how upsetting it is. Hi! Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> I think you're everybody else. Because I think I was actually crying. Yeah, you're <laughs> I'm going to we have over 400 likes right now. Look over here. Look over here. 400 <laughs> likes. 400 likes. And over like 350 people. It's like, it's like a whole bunch of people in here. So many people. Love you guys. Thank you. I get it back. So, yeah. That's that's some history there. Maybe I got a kiss. I let, I'm actually powered by kisses during painting lessons, so that works for me. I'm okay. going <laughs> to... I have to turn music back down and like push buttons now. I know. Back to stunt hands work. Oh. I'm pulling out more of my blue and adding a little of my um, black to it. If you were somewhere you didn't have phthalo blue, you could do this with ultramarine. It would just be a little more purple in tint. Or you could do this with Prussian. Prussian blue? Mm-hmm. Prussian blue is really similar to phthalo blue. Add it with a little bit of black in it. 
Ah. So I'm going to start darkening around her eye. <laughs> like you do, creating this dark, dark space. The dark, dark night. And, and you guys have done such a good job of like liking, comment, subscribing, and sharing today. I, I've just, I have like not had as much time to say that. So thank you for doing that. Don't forget to post your pictures up on social media for us to see. Go out to theartsherpa.com, post your pictures there, sign up for our groups. We're working on all of that stuff. Let and, us know uh, how you thought of this one where we kind of like tempered it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let us know if it was good, if you liked it. The internet is very generous with its opinion. We hear them all the time. I'm going to add just a little scoop. This is the little shadow under the nose. Just a little bit right here. And I'm going to keep painting this kind of little dark area around the eye. Remember, if you have any boo-boos in your painting, just dry it. Let it dry and then paint it out. If you have student paint, it may take a couple coats. That's all. That's all that's going on. I'm going to just, I really like to have her eyes be just a little bit darker around the eye. If you guys have been watching a lot of makeup tutorials, I don't know if you noticed, but I have been watching makeup <laughs> tutorials lately. I have not. I no. do not watch makeup tutorials. Unfortunately, I'm like watching a lot of my makeup tutorials from Willem. <laughs> not safe for work. <laughs> not safe for work or kids. But really good about makeup. Like doubly not safe. Yeah, doubly, doubly, doubly not safe. And, and, and could easily offend everyone. <laughs> I'm not easily offended, but could easily offend everyone. <laughs> what I loved is, is Chris was uh, on, was chatting on in his stream about how he came in and we were talking about him and saying how his channel was not safe for work. And he did a double take because, you know, he's a gaming channel. And of course it's safe for work. You know, but he curses, they drink some beer, they have fun. There's, you know, but it's fine. It's all adult stuff. But he had to think about it and go, oh, but if you're like coming from a painting party, maybe... Maybe that may not be safe for work. <laughs> 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 but it's in truth, we, 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 we have a lot of people. Well, who the watch reason work. we let everyone know, Chris, is a lot of our community watches their YouTube secretly at work. Which we. So we got to let them know. And, and what's funny is I'm not I'm now no longer allowed to shout out who is watching at work because generally their boss is watching at work, too. <laughs> <laughs> we have actually had people in office have to go talk to each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty funny. <laughs> Which is shenanigans, Sherpa shenanigans. When they discover in chat. <laughs> so I'm just really refining this darkness around this eye here. Isn't that fun? Mm-hmm. You know, you may need to, you know, lower the lid, raise the lid. You have to make those decisions as you're painting, you know, from your original sketch. Unless you did the traceable and then it's probably just dead on what I originally did. Every painting I do is a little bit deviated from the next. I am not a forger. <laughs> That's not my skill set. That's a whole specialized set of skills to be able to duplicate artwork exactly each time. Not my skill set. Don't have it. No. I'm going to start adding a highlight. <laughs> so I don't rinse my brush. I just wipe it off and I pull out my white paint. And you'll notice by not rinsing it and just pulling it out like this. Uh-huh. It, it, it tints it, hmm. and it helps kind of create that perfect tinting and toning that I'm looking for. And I'm going to just come along the line of the eye. Ooh. Those of you that do makeup are like, oh, she's lighting the lid. Yes, I am. <laughs> Ooh, some more Car Carolina, Caroline re uh, request. Mm. What's the request? For another Caroline painting. Oh, Caroline. Caroline, sorry. Caroline, I know yes. Let's do, Cor that is... Uh, Ian Garland's favorite. I didn't know that. Yeah, he really loves it. And you guys should all love Ian. So if you don't know who he is, we'll find a way of putting his... He's going to come visit us for Thanksgiving. He's yeah. going to come craft with us for Thanksgiving. Because we're going to do our Thanksgiving show again. And our, and our Are we going to stop Mom from eating cupcakes that are covered in paint? Yes, we are. Because that's crazy. What is she <laughs> doing? I'm getting back into my blue and black. And you see just darkening. See, that's just darker than what I had right there. Right? And I'm going to come and, you know, make sure that the that the brow bone is, is a little bit lighter and that there's kind of an implied crease. Look at that. 
Look at me putting on makeup on my canvas. I'm crazy. And and for everyone, my brain damage is pronouncing names. So I totally knew it was Coraline. I just, when I read it, I like, my brain says, no, wait, you're going to read it wrong. And then at the last minute, it makes me say it whatever the worst way is possible. Even it, though it, it is a sad thing that does seem to happen to you, and I feel for you. I feel your pain. I'm taking this dark color down to her neck while you share your pain. It is because I'll say, all right, her name is Lisa, 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 Lisa. Hey, Kim, how's it going? And it's like, oh! <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's a thing. We're it's loved. Thing. By those that love us, we are loved. And those that don't. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube is a big, beautiful place. Go have fun. <laughs> no need to send an email. <laughs> Not required. <laughs> oh, I'm going to add some highlight to that. That has been the funniest thing ever. Cause, like, I love, love, love hearing from you guys, though. Most of you guys just write the most beautiful, beautiful stories. Oh, man, there's been some wonderful stories coming in on the on the Sherpa helpline. Yeah. So, yeah, feel free we to write in. We love actually hearing from you. Yeah, anything that you guys need help at uh, uh, heartparty.com mm -hmm. is, uh, that's our helpline. So We're going to add a little highlight to our nose. Mm -hmm. We like to do that. We're going to add a little highlight to our nose. Right here. I like that. It makes me happy. I'm doing it. And I'm going to just right here on the forehead. Now, you could use the glazing liquid if you want this really blended in. All right? If that's what you wanted. Mm. It's really blended in. And I'm going to put in the hair after this, which is just going to start out with the burnt sienna. I hope you guys are having fun. Oh, I think that they're having a lot of fun out here. And you're glad here. we're not rush, rush, rushing today. We can rush. Y'all know I can do this in about 40 minutes. I think... I think they're. I think that we're doing okay. We've got over three hundred people in the room. Yeah, We've got over four, good. almost almost four hundred and fifty likes already. Well, I, you know, I keep saying to John, like our most popular video, which is almost at five hundred thousand views as of right now, whenever this was published, is an hour and a half and was played indefinitely <laughs> at the YouTube studios for a week on a loop. On a, oh my gosh! On a loop. <laughs> that was funny. It was the funniest thing ever. If you're brand new here, um, I went a thing called YouTube Next Up, and they flew me to New York to hang out with other YouTubers. And one of the nice things they did for us there was they played our videos on mm. the many, 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 many screens throughout the YouTube space in New York. And everyone had really, really read the entries. So they had five-minute videos. But I did not really, really read the entries, so my video was an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And they didn't edit it down. So every morning for an hour and a half... <laughs> And, you know, just on that, I want to say thank you to all of our friends at YouTube, yeah. you know, Shana and Ellie and all those folks who always who help don't us. don't watch our show. <laughs> they, they, you know, but I, they love us. I they have support to say, us. That's actually not true, Caroline. All those, they, they, they really yeah. have, they're such fans and supporters <laughs> of us. I have to say that yeah. I really appreciate everything. So yeah. just. And we actually, we're kind of excited about the Heroes program. Yeah. Not to be rebels, but we have really nice community members who close captions, so. We can be you. For us, if you close caption heroes. our videos, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Um, you guys should, we're going to try to help you figure out how to do this, but you should sign up for Heroes because you guys get a bunch of points and YouTube rewards you with a bunch of stuff. Probably Chris plays games here, knows better than I do what those rewards are. They're stars. Are they stars? You get no, I think they get access to stuff and oh like yeah, events you and things. You, you guys get, get stuff. And, and here's the thing. You're closed captioning here anyways, and you're, and you're moderating here anyways, and if YouTube... You, if YouTube's going to give you something for that, yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Cool. So, uh, here's a quick I'm going to pull out just my burnt sienna. No, but, it, go ahead. Pull your burnt oh, sienna out. I'm going to just pull that out. And a little black. I didn't mean to throw you off, babe. No, no. I'm going to pull out a little black because I don't want it quite as bright a brown as it is, but I still want it pretty bright. And I'm going to start doing her hair off the top of her head. On, I'm going to plant my brush number eight bright at the top. And I'm going to just flow a line down. Oh, I'm going to get out of there so I can see I know, it's better. scary. And I'm going to paint out what I just painted in. You're like, did I just paint all that to paint it out? Yes, you did. And I just all that shadow has gone. You have to do it. <laughs> so is, is Hannah yellow in golden compared to cad yellow? Hansa is not the same it, as cad yellow. And I think we've got to do a quest like on all the yellows, all the blues, all the different colors. Ah. Because there's a reason they're cool, they're warm. I I am off the top of my head thinking 
I'd have to look at Hansa. I think Hansa's Hannah. cooler. Hannah. H A N N A. Hannah or Hansa? It should Hannah. Be Hansa. Well, she's uh, so so. She's I asking. Have to look at that yellow. Is Hannah yellow uh, in golden compared to cad yellow? No, the reason golden has um, a cad yellow is because it's not the same. Okay. Golden won't make a product repeat products; they just won't do it. Yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit of this hair and just float off the canvas, and then I'm going to let this split a little bit, and then another little kind of like split here. We just want to imply this is flowing, and I'm going to put this nice brown in now, with Kim, a little bit of black. Uh, thank you, Kim, for asking. Kim was asking about how can she help with closed captioning. Oh, and yes. So we, uh, if you go out there on the uh, on our uh, – so Daisy, who's one of our community members, is really helping coordinate that. Uh, the easiest answer is email help at heartparty.com. Or heart, yeah. Email help at heart.com. You can even translate. It's not even just closed campaign. You can translate captions that we already have done. That's also enabled. Yeah, it's all enabled. You can go out there and just do it. But if you want to coordinate with Daisy and and Lisa and all of that, we have some stuff going on our website where we're starting to organize that up. Because we're uh, trying to know who's who's contributing so we can shout you guys out. Yeah, and we actually have requests from the deaf community on which ones they want to see first. So we're trying to prioritize those. So we really appreciate that support. But closed captioning makes videos accessible. Um, in multiple languages? In mul- yeah. I mean, you're still dealing with Google Translate, but it is at least much closer. Yeah. You'll notice, like, even here with my propane, I'm needing a couple, couple uh, coats. So you'll notice it's closer. But it would be great if, if you're, you know, a lot of the captions, there's a playlist that's closed captioned and American Sign Language here. All those videos are enabled for translation. You could translate if you'd mm-hmm. like to. You know, this is also a great way for people to learn a second language. Because uh, apparently my friend who's a language expert says we use a lot of good words. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that. Indubitably. Indubitably. We use them correctly. The way we use words sometimes shows the multiple context. English is hard to learn because things have multiple contexts. And if there's anything we don't have, it's context. <laughs> <laughs> We have content, but not context. I am just adding black to my brown here and just painting this first layer in. But you'll notice that I'm kind of like flowing my brush as if it were hair. See, it's like there's a flow to it. So like when I go out on this edge here, I flip it to the edge of the bristles. When I go out on this edge here, I flip it to the edge of the bristles. But here it's, you know, still flowing that feel of the hair. Mm. If you have very inexpensive paints, it may take a couple coats. But if you're over a black canvas, don't worry. See how multi-tonal this is? It is. You just don't want to worry about that. Now, I'm going to pump the, the gain back up on that a little bit. We had, we had, we had turned it down there because we were looking at the, oh, okay. the white. And, uh, All right. I'm going to paint this side of her head it's, while it's you're pumping It's funny that our eyes can see more, more shades. Because you were trying to show them what was happening yeah. in the skull. No, so. no, I love that you do that, though. Thank you. So, yeah, um, definitely closed captioning is enabled on all the videos. We have a great community working on it. It really helps other people. If you want to do something that helps other people, closed captioning videos in general around YouTube is a helpful thing. If you sign up for the Heroes program, you'll get rewards of some kind, I think. And But you can just do it if you want to do it. And um, I think it's a cool thing to do. Yeah. It makes all these videos more accessible. While we're doing that, I just want to say and, thank and Laura, you. My mine are so long they don't auto caption a lot of times. Okay, and, and I just want to say thank you. We've got over 300 people and over 450 likes here. Wow. Thank guys, you guys thank you. for coming and hanging out with us today. Thank you. It has been one of the best days Ever. I can say. It was just so wonderful. Thank you guys. I'm going to put out a little liquid black here. This is fluid black. This would be the consistency of, say, a black craft paint. You can also just add water to your black. But my black has started to glop because of the dryness and the heat. So this is a trick I do in my studio. You don't have to do this at home to just deal with what's going on, my conditions. My conditions. Chris says that the benefit of of having these videos closed closed captioned is probably more valuable than the rewards from the heroes. (laughs) Yeah. Smiley, And we really appreciate this. It does make a huge difference to our community. Really, it does. It's, so. it, it's a big, big deal, and that's a wonderful way. You guys often ask, how can I give back? What can I do? You know, and we, you know, this is like one of the 
if if this is something you can do, either sharing and liking and all of that, or making a nice comment on somebody's art when you see it out on social media, or closed captioning, there's a lot you can do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make her a little head scar. Okay. So I've got my on. number two shader. I've mixed a little of my black and my blue. And I'm going to, this is going to be darker than her skin underneath. I'm going to draw this nice fine line down here. That's her, her stitch marks. Yeah, and that's something, you know, we don't think about, like, just liking somebody's painting and saying something encouraging. Not, like, where they could fix it, but, you know, hey, like, you did this really good, or I think you should keep painting. That's, that is a real way to contribute. Oh, yeah. value to that. I am doing the stitch mark down here. I'm following you with RoboCam. Good. So you see how I'm like in the middle of the eye and I just make this nice thin line here. Yeah. I got to leave room for my smile. Which I'm going to make a little line here. And I'm going to make a little dot over here. And I'm just going to do my little curve. You can sketch this with chalk first if you're feeling concerned that you're going to get it right. And remember, you can just dry it, paint it out, and put it back in. So don't feel like you are at all stuck. You're probably wondering, what's the burnt sienna for? For one little color right here. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is it for? Just one little color right here. Oh, no. I'm going to take a little line straight down. Take a little line straight down. That's going to be the end for her little shift that she's made herself. We're going to do her neck stitch mark right here, and then the vertical stitch mark right here. The guy that made her is a little bit creepy, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's a little bit creepy. Rinse out my brush while this is drying. And I'm going to get some of my black. You know? I'm going to come along here. When you come back over your palette, what, 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 do, you, what do you have your palette on there? Oh, what's this? Yeah. This is acrylic palette paper. Uh, this particular one is by Strathmore, and I get it at the craft store. These are just, these are not wax paper, but they are coated pieces of paper for acrylic paint, and they're disposable. Gotcha. That's, that just I'm makes it easier. I'm going to come back with my black line, and I'm happy with my blue line, and sort of enforce this with the black line. Just a little bit. Just this one, though. Just this one. Just this one. Just a little bit more, you know, Two. defined and... And if you want, you can soften this nose here. Going like back and forth. So I've sort of softened it and created a little shadow down. Now i got to give her eyeliner. This is the hard part for me. It's not just hard on my own eyes. It's hard to do on eyes that I paint on the canvas. Just so you know. <laughs> I struggle everywhere with eyeliner. Do you struggle with eyeliner? I really struggle with eyeliner. I hear that there's an age when I can just stop wearing it. Like they don't let you wear it in makeup anymore. <laughs> what? I don't know. A lot of the makeup mavens like, at this age, you have to stop wearing eyeliner. I'm I like, oh, good, because I'm bad at it. <laughs> struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make this line a little thicker at the edge here. And then as we're coming up the eye, I'm going to taper it in. It's a thing I'm doing. And then I'm going to very carefully line underneath here just a little bit. Like you do. Like, like, like you. you do. So I've gone off my canvas with the eye, which you notice I haven't even been remotely concerned about. <laughs> because it's just not that concerning. <laughs> be on, be off. For the purposes of this composition, not a big deal. Mm -mm. The most important thing to me on this piece is the placement of these two characters, him looking at you and her looking at him. In my opinion, you may feel different. You may paint yours differently. Will I be offended? No! We just want to see it. We just, so just post it up. And while you're posting it up, don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and share button. Woohoo! Woohoo! Because <laughs> we forget to ask you guys to do that too much. Yeah. How will anyone know that there's free art on YouTube if you don't tell them? You have to click the share button for them to know. So here's a little trick that I sometimes do. You hold a pen. Hold I take something I know that it's fairly straight line, and I get it as level as my little eyes will let me. So that I'm going to put a little dot here, and then I'm going to put, like, a little dot here. Because what I want is, the, I want these to seem like they're on the same plane. 
They, it, when you don't want the, it seems like I don't want to make fun of a celebrity, but I'm just saying there are some celebrities whose eyes are not on the same plane. And it really <laughs> bugs me. As an artist, you're like screaming inside. Oh, just doing that, and I feel like this one got off here. Uh oh. I want I want her looking more like kind of like she's looking at him. So what I gotta do? I gotta dry it, move it. So I get to say, hey guys. Do, oh, and while she's okay, so you see how she's she's blow drying here. Make sure uh, not to use heat; use just air. She's got that on uh, the cool setting, um, and she squeezes a little button there, so it just lets air out. And the reason for that is that heat can cause. Uh, oops, she didn't fix that, clean that very well, did she? Um, heat will cause color shift in a lot of paint. So what you want to do is uh, is not use heat just use air because it's actually the flow of air that helps quickly cure that acrylic paint um, ha, see so i was just telling everyone that you were you were using no heat there no just because that that can cause some color shift if, if you have the less expensive your all, all acrylic apparently does have some color shift but the less expensive your paint is the more prone to color shift it's likely to be wow because that's an area where they're gonna <laughs> save some money all right, I'm just gonna just just a little bit higher than its friend was, and a little more looking at him. See, it's a weird different. It makes a difference. I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes oh, you yeah. see that, just trust it, just go with it, just fix it. That is cool. Well, this is drawing. I'm going to put in her stitches. Stitches. Her stitches, we need which more stitches. are mostly they're going to be lighter than her background skin tone, and I just tint my brush with a little bit of blue, and I get some white. This is the number two shader. Any small brush that will give you a nice flat mark will work. And I'm just going to come here and make these little highlight marks. Getting the white. It's about the shadow that makes them pop. If you're like, why do yours pop and mine don't pop? Because I added a shadow, which we're going to do later. <laughs> so don't panic yet. And we're going to add a shadow to these marks. While we're doing that here, I'm going to rinse this out. And I'm going to get my, a little of my blue over to my cad red, right? And remember, a good place to save money on cadmium is by buying hue. That'll save you about 10 to 12 bucks a tube of paint. Chances are, unless you're a professional artist, you don't need real cad. Though it's not like radioactive, so don't be, as long as you're not eating it, you're okay either way. Alright, just putting the see the little bow where it goes like I what how I get the lips in is I bow up, I go up, 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 and then I kind of slide down. It's like a little bump that blends into the lip. Alright. Come across here, my little bump that blends into the lip. Just kind of paint that in. It's gonna take a couple coats, so don't be too stressed about it. And you want this color to be dark, almost a brick color. You know, almost a brick color. Her mouth is smaller. I may have even gone a little too big here, but that's okay. I'm going to work with it. I'm going to work with it, guys, because I like it. <laughs> I like the shape of it, so I'm leaving it alone. I, I like, like it. your pretty mouth. All right, um, that was weird. <laughs> Five of you got that. <laughs> so scary. So many scary things in the world. Little tricks about Sally. Mm -hmm. And it's best to put them in so you don't get lost in them. She has an X right here by her mouth and then one stitch. You're like, is it important? Let me tell you, to fan artists it is. Nothing scarier than doing fan art. Because fans have feels. <laughs> fans have feels. 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 And they should feel their feels. They should feel their feels, but sometimes their feels are really, really intense. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so you got to do your best. I'm going to do a line here. And a line here, maybe a third line. All right? So that's the accurate to this character stitch. As accurate line. as we are here. As accurate as we are here, because clearly this is interpreted through the Sherpa here. And then we're going to do these stitches down here. We're nearly done, guys. Oh, down where? Oh, down there. Yep. One, two, three, four. See, I kind of skipped that stitch. Oh, that looks, yep. I'm going to put a fifth one over here just to be jaunty. And a couple here. So Ooh. we know that they're stitches. 
And now you're going to be like, why do I have yellow ochre? And I put out way more than I need. I just always have to tell you what you need. A little white and a little yellow ochre. Priyanka is in India. It's 11 p.m. Hi, Priyanka. I actually know Priyanka. How you doing? She's just started painting. She has? Yep. And that's a different person. <laughs> it's 11 p.m. It's 11 p.m.? So there she, it's her painting time. That you... I am not able to paint at 11 p.m. I'm, a, I'm I unconscious. Ever, I, I have joked with Chris. I've joked with John about doing a really long art broadcast. You know, like you do. Where just go like, because I have the option to go 24 hours on YouTube, I think. Uh-huh. But then I was like, me at 11 painting? No. No, it would be weird. Well, you're where, gonna, where are we at? We're, 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 we're going, but they're demanding that you dance. Okay. Because right now, we have 480 likes and over 300 people here, and they're just saying that it's dance time. And I think that, that on such a, a fantastic day, <laughs> <laughs> if you're at home and you can't get up and dance, then wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers and wiggle your nose. Because dancing helps remind your body that you're alive. And when you're painting, you're sitting for long periods of time, or standing, it's important to move. It is. It's important to get up there. And it's the other thing that's important to remind me is say, John, get us some new dance music because oh, the same song really is want, over uh, and party. over and over. They've offered to collaborate with and us. Over and over and Sparkle over. Sparkle Party said they collab, John. I know. I'm going to have to see if I can get some, some better music lined up. At the sparkle party. At the sparkle party. The problem is we just get so much content ID claims. It makes it difficult oh, to deal with. Just. And I have crickets, which just, you know, they're always there. Yeah, it's not you guys. That's, that's actually us. We do have crickets. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this side of her little dress is pink, and that side is gold. And believe it or not, that is important. Is it? Mm-hmm. It is. It really <laughs> matters. A no, lot. I, I, it, now. I, now. Get no. your black, and you're going to make the little shadow on the stitches. And the last thing we're going to finish is her hair. Oh, yeah. This, that's what you're talking about. I Sorry, my close-up camera couldn't see what you were doing. So let me... Uh, I wasn't okay, there I'll yet. Be so right here. Hold on just a second. I'll let you catch it. I'm creating a little shadow underneath the stitch. It's important. It's important. Not heart surgery oh, important. Gotcha. Not eat healthy foods important. <laughs> But, you know, for the purposes of you wanting to share this on social media, it'd be like, I'm an artist now, man. Here's a little trick on the um, X. I like to come here and make one stitch in front of the other. And I do that by creating one complete line and then a broken line. Oh, yeah. See how I did that? And it makes it look like it's layered. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, it's fun to me. <laughs> It may not be as fun for you as it is for me. I'm like, I'm living large over here. La vida loca, shaking it's, stitches. It's those little touches that make a big difference. It does. And that's something you can't always do. Like, I think paint nights are fantastic. I think seven paints are fantastic. It's a good social activity. And I highly recommend it. But sometimes the time constraints of getting people out on, a, on three hours in a big group doesn't let you do all the details you might want to do. Yeah. But that also... Though I have to say, I'm still faster than that. <laughs> so we have some red for her <laughs> hair? Is that what we got left? Is red? We have red on our lips, red hair, and some eyelashes. Oh, yeah. So we're going to finish out everything we need on the black. Interesting detail on her is she has some decorative lining on this little shirt, and I like to put it over here. Yes, it matters to me. I don't know why. I like it. I I'm like going to load up. Now, eyelashes. The trick of this is going to be the fluidity of your paint. In other words, how easily it flows off your brush. Uh -huh. If you've got a heavy body paint, you're going to have to thin it with water or a medium. I'm going to. You know what? I have to do those last. You do? Because they go over the hair. Oh, they do. So you got to do if some. If they go over the hair, then I gotta, now i got to do the hair. All right. Let's do some hair. So I'm going to grab some red on this little brush here oh. and just make sure her lips. Get a little highlight there. Yeah. And then a nice one like right here. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. Look at that. So cool. How Sally is that? Ah. She's coming together. This whole painting is weirdly about Sally. It's funny. We get to talk, and so you just kind of sometimes forget the, the, the intended. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got my number four bright here, and I've loaded. You can see the load on that. See how that is? Now, 
And I'm going to just come on the edge. How I'm do you dry get that brushing bead? this because I want a lot of the brown to show underneath. How do you get that bead like that? So how I do that, let me wipe it off, is when I pull it out, this is a very firm brush. It's so I can easily pull a bead by just drag by grabbing a little and dragging it out. Mm-hmm. Okay. It it's one of the way tools do help. Like I never want you guys to feel bad about tools, but tools do help. I wouldn't mention them unless they unless they aided in some way. And the reason I bother with them, I'm you know, I'm an economic person is because they make a big difference in my experience. So you'll see that I am pulling this beautiful flowing line. So I come on my little edge here and I arc it out and then I often something you can't see and a lot of artists do this and I feel like at home you might not know we do it even on these tutorials is I'll start out on my the edge of my bristles and in the stroke twist the brush. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in down there so you can see that a little yeah, bit. More. I'd like to show you all this because it's a thing that we all do, and I just don't think we showcase it enough. I think I, I can see that just from yeah. I, I've got a, got you, it. Yeah, I'm gonna go slow. Okay. So a lot of times when I'm doing one of these, I come I'm coming down on the edge of my brush, and then see how I carefully shift it. Yeah. And that's how in that same brush I'm getting a thin stroke and a thick stroke, and I'm doing this very quickly a lot of times in a painting. So it looks like I did some magic nonsense here when actually I just twisted my brush. <laughs> I'm just like when I'm thinking about like when I'm out and I'm, you know, painting live, like what is it that always gets the crowd going, what? It's stuff like that where you're just like, you just get used to twisting your brush to create that variance of stroke. And that's an experience thing. That comes over time. Everybody gets it though. Everybody gets it. Doesn't Sally look good? He did. Now you, we have to be your little neck thing for uh, for 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 Jack there. His little oh, collar. Oh yeah. We got to thank you. Oh, I Chris caught that. Chris thank caught that. Chris, like, dude, thanks. Everyone, clap for Chris. <laughs> Go subscribe to Chris Plays Games. Yes. <laughs> Go over. Sign up. Chris Plays Games. Because he saved your painting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he actually really did. So he has these like uh, kind of like little curled little finials and I felt like that was important to do. So again, that, by the way, I'm going to do it real slow, slow. I'm on the edge, I'm on the edge, I'm on the edge. And then as I do the twist, see how it creates the width? Yeah. The brush itself does that. It's the bright. It's a bit like a calligraphy pen if you've ever played with that. The last thing we have to do before signing, Sally needs some eyelashes. No. I'm gonna let you do the eyelashes, and okay. then I have. Uh, then we'll talk. We're gonna talk after the eyelashes. We'll talk after the eyelashes. The community okay. knows what I'm talking about. All right. So here's the trick with eyelashes. Eyelashes be crazy. You can make them neat and tidy. You can make them kind of crazy. It's about pressing firm when you start, and then lightening your stroke as you go up. Don't criticize your eyelashes. Eyelashes. I really gotta say this to y'all. Eyelashes are hard. You flip out on the eyelashes on the owl and all of it is fine. They're just decorative lashes. As you practice them more, they'll get more refined. You can always do them on a scratch piece of paper. Just know it's normal in your growth period to like be like, that might be an area that's like a little bit more challenging. And remember, you can go in with a chalk pencil and very carefully lay them in and then trace over it. So there's a way through. But the most important thing is to be like, <sighs> I'm okay. I'm beautiful and perfect exactly how I am, and my eyelashes are valid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I will come get anyone on social media who tells you <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get them on this side, too. Now, as I come in this inner eye, I might curve them the opposite direction. A little bit might come over here. You know, just enjoy these. These are her eyelashes, and this is Sally, and she has wonderful lashes. That's that's like her that's her signature move. She can bat them, and let's put our sign let's put our signature in. I'm going to use a detail brush to do that. You can sign or not sign your artwork. Um, generally, it's you know it's kind of a hot button issue right now. I don't think it's as big of a deal as some people make <laughs> it to be. I'm going to sign this because there's so many of us painting them, but that way we'll always know this one was me. That's going to be important because, believe it or not, this has now been officially declared an art movement. It has. So you and got we're his... all part of the painting party movement, which means later, 
art, people are going to look at our work and talk about it. Yeah. So if you've noticed, my designs have gotten a little more intense lately. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so first to say thank you guys. Because there we go. I'm going to come over and I'm, I'm going to say this in just a minute. But Cinnamon, just so you know, hmm. we I'm going to let me go over here and pull this down for you. But, you know, we've had, uh, let's see here. That's my hat. Oh, it is. <laughs> there's that. There's, there's my palette. There, no. There you Some are. Love. Hi, Hi. Here I am. There you are. Here I am. And I can now, but the whole so smooth thing. If you're thing, about to tell me that the broadcast has been down the whole time and you've been faking me out again. Yep. Totally been faking you out. It's been down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have 500 likes. That. There's 510 likes right now happening Dude, out here. Dude, thank you. Thank you. Isn't thank that amazing? That is, you, you got Inside Baseball. Our channel took a hit recently. There was a glitch. There was a glitch. There was a glitch, and YouTube believes we were getting 30-second watch times, and it stopped serving and sharing us out, so we've seen it across the channel. So these likes, these shares, these comments are literally going to be what saves our channel. Thank you so much. It does. It makes such we a big difference. We didn't want to hit you with this at the beginning. Only you guys that hung in until the end. <laughs> but I'm going to come out again, and I'm going to say I love you guys, and thank so you. So much so thank you. And I hope you love Jack and Sally. Happy October 1st. John's going to come out and say I am. I am. I got I got buttons over here that I got to finish pushing. He's and then I'm gonna push gonna... buttons. Okay. So my son came in. I was like trying to film the test thing so we could make little promo videos. And John has the camera on a <laughs> remote control kind of joystick. And apparently while I was painting along, he was like back there like playing with the camera. <laughs> hey. So thank you guys. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. We want to see you at the easel real soon. And tomorrow, Sunday fun day. Bye-bye. Well, you, you guys can't, are the you, best. You, you can't say goodbye if I'm over there. I can't push the buttons. See, I, I, I didn't know that so, you Jack were. Jack and Sally, I painted it. I showed you. Was that fun? You did show them all of that stuff. Good. Okay. So I have to get some. You'll paint okay. it pretty. Share it with me. All right. I'll see you guys. Share it with me. I think I'm ready to do it now. You ready I, to do it? I think I can push the buttons now. Okay. I hope. Okay. I hope. All right. Okay. You can say goodbye. <laughs> Bye.